want your head looking at the tee. And what I want you to do when you're swinging, I want to make sure that when you swing, you keep your head on the ball, you have a stiff front leg, no step, and that you squash the bug on your back leg. Imagine your back leg, there's a bug underneath it. How are you going to squash that bug? Right that way, right? Okay, so it's here, there. Okay, and you're going to have the majority of your weight right here on the back leg. All right, you want to try it? Okay, go ahead. Yep, all the way through. Good. Approximately 60% of the player's weight should be on the back foot. This is called the load position. This pivot will open the hips toward the pitcher when squashing the bug. The front foot shall remain square and the front knee locked when squashing the bug also. The back leg can bend, but do not take a large dip with the back leg. Most coaches and parents who played the game when they were young were taught to take a step toward the pitcher with their front foot when swinging the bat. Most coaches and parents remember taking a small step or a large step. I do not want the player to take a step with their front foot when squashing the bug since a step will cause the player's head to slightly dip when swinging the bat and therefore the player's eyes will dip when swinging the bat also. Use a series of batting helmets as impediments to prevent the player's front foot from taking a step if they had previously been taught to do so. All right, Teddy, let's try it. Okay, buddy. Nice. Practice squashing the bug with a bat situated between the arms and the back shoulder blades. Have the entire team practice this drill at the same time, making sure they are a good distance away from each other. And what I'd like you to do is hold your hands down there, and I'd like you to go ahead and squash the bug with the bat like that uh, 50 times, but I want you to hold it for two seconds after each one, okay? All right, let's try it. Keep an eye on a stiff front leg and the back foot should pivot on the ball of their back foot. Some players will pivot and raise the heel of the back foot such that the back weight is placed on the toe instead of the ball of the back foot. Hold it. Okay. All right, you know what you did wrong that time? Well, what you did is when you swung, you turned this foot it, the squash the bug wasn't too bad, but you lifted the toe, and guess where all your weight went? Right. On your front leg, right? So what we want to do is when you squash the bug, you want to be able to be in a position that like this, where the weight is still on the ball of your foot, not on your toe. And we don't want that because that not only raises your eye level, but it also puts all your weight on your front leg. So when you squash the bug, it's better to have the weight on the, still on the ball of your foot. And what that does is that doesn't raise your eye level up. It also puts the majority of the weight still back on this back leg here and that you're going to swing a more powerful swing. Okay? So let's try it. Okay? The proper way. All right? Nice. Much better.